about to get started. Gun is uh, is now up, and off we go. The 2017 NCAA Division II Championships, this is the women's 6,000 meters. 6,000 meters to sort out all the storylines from the season. Will Grand Valley or Adams State continue a, a reign of dominance, or will Cal Baptist possibly usurp them and win their first title before moving up to Division number uh, Division One? It should be a really exciting race on the individual and the team side. And you see the gap between our top two, Wolkenhauer and Kurgot and the chase pack. How cool is that view to just see That's all the fans sprinting back and forth, right? I hope they have a GPS on this to see how much running yeah. they get in today. Yeah, it may be more than the athletes. It's, it's a beautiful spectator course. Uh, other than those hills, there's not much to obstruct your view. But if you want to get a view and not end up running about five or six miles, you can uh, just stay on top of a hill in the middle of the course. It is Angel Mounds. It's the name of the, the park here. So uh, an awesome day for cross country. It looks like Kurgot now starting to move around. She takes a look around, maybe surprised to not see Alexis Zeiss. I don't know what you think, Neely. It looks like maybe Wolkenhauer's starting to hurt just a little bit. The arm carriage breaking down just a hair as we approach uh, the 3,000 meter point. Yeah, this is definitely the tough part in the course. You know, you've run a long way and you still have a long way to go. So this is where you're mentally battling as well as starting to get physically fatigued. Um, but yes, I'm surprised that these two are so far out and that chase pack better start rolling. They need to start their push to catch these guys. Definitely. Yeah, you can see her stride opening up. She's really finishing strong here. So a, a little bit of an undramatic individual finish, but that's not going to be the story on the individual side. As Caroline Kurgot approaches the line. Let's see if she'll celebrate this victory. It's got to feel so good after a full summer of work. Caroline Kurgot, she's going to catch up to our cart here. <laughs> a nice little view there as she approaches the finish line. Your 2017 NCAA Division II Cross Country Women's Champion. This is Caroline Kurgot from Alaska Anchorage. All right, so I'm here with Caroline Kurgot. She won the D2 National Championships in 2023. Uh, Caroline, talk to me about the race experience today. What was it like going out there on the course? Uh, how are you feeling? Uh, the last two races I've been trying to like go by myself and like push it. And today I just wanted to like go the way I've been doing it. Um, so, you know, you mentioned in the other interview that you wanted to kind of just see how you felt. And when you felt good, you were going to go for it. Um, how did that race strategy play out? It, it, you know, very well, obviously, but talk to me a little bit about it and just what the mentality was there. Well, at the beginning, I felt really, like, I felt the pain, like, it was really fast at the beginning, but then I got warmed up and I just started picking it up. So once you got warmed up and things started to flow at right around 3K, you were out there chasing the cart. Um, you know, what's it like to just kind of race against the clock? I guess that, I mean, it's, it's good because I just chase the car that, like, focus on it, no, like look at the back. I kept looking at the back, but told just to see where everyone else was and leave. They were catching up with me. What's it like to be here with all those ladies and, you know, to compete here together? Well, it's really a big motivation to me. They have always helped me through it and, like, trained with me. All the time they push me to do more than what they are doing or, like, they feel I'm better than that. So they have always told me to, like, put, it, put more effort in my work. Awesome. And what was kind of the words from your coach after the race? You know, I saw you talk to him real quick. You know, what kind of words of congratulations did he have? Well, this, the only thing he said was, like, that's the way to go because that's, that's our, our, that, that was our plan at the beginning, and following that strategy through was really good. Awesome. Um, yeah, so being a national champion, how does it feel to, to have that under your belt and to say that you, you won the national championship? I think that's a big thing to me because at, when I came here, I didn't even think I would win it, but towards the end of my senior, I was just thinking I should do it. Yeah. Awesome. Is there anything else you'd like to add about the win and about today and the meet? Um, well, I think all this is through my coach's work, so I really appreciate the work he has put into me. 